Yes, that's right. It's used every platform from books to TV and now the web to have a national conversation about health and wellness. So let's start talking. The number one thing people ask me about is dieting. And the problems with conventional diets is they depend on willpower. Let me ask you a question. How many of you can hold your breath indefinitely underwater? It's pretty hard, right? Possible. Why? Because your biology will always beat your willpower. No matter how much you want to diet, it ain't going to work. What you can do, though, is nudge the biology blubber in the right direction. Now, the first thing you got to figure out is what are you measuring? What does success look like? Well, it turns out it's not your weight. It's your waist size, which is the best predictor of health. The ideal waist size measured at your belly button is about half your height. Take a look at this chart and see what your waist size should be while I take you through mine. I'm 6 feet 1 inches tall, so 6 times 12 inches, because they're 12 inches at a foot, 72 inches, add one more inch, that's 73 inches, divide it in two, 36 and a half inches. If I'm more than that, I got too much belly fat going on. If you've got too much belly fat, problems start to happen. And here's the big one. Let's look at the omentum. This is an animation. See that yellow stuff there? That's the omentum. And that pad, we're going to get rid of that for a second. There's the liver up there, the gallbladder, the green stuff. And there's the stomach of the food you ate earlier today. And it's being pushed down into the small bowel. Your bowel is going to mix that with bile, the green stuff from the gallbladder. And like a soap, it'll wash it and help it absorb through this very thin wall to the big portal vein. This vein carries all the nutrients to the liver. No matter what you eat, the liver's going to metabolize it and send it out to the body. If you eat healthy stuff, the liver's going to love that. If you eat unhealthy stuff, the liver will turn fat. This fat liver afflicts a quarter of the population. And then this momentum starts to get ponderously large. It pulls way across. And because that big beer belly that so many folks have. Now, I got news for you. Men after the age of 40 never buy a new belt size. What do they do? They sip the belt under the fat. Right? And they walk around like this. And they waddle around like this all the time. So you actually got to get the folks in your life to measure their waist size. Not the belt size. The belly button over the hips to get that magical number. Again, it's got to be half of your height. Now, I brought you a little demonstration because I love organs. This is actually what happens inside of your belly. The reason your belly gets big is not because you got a little fat beneath the skin. You get big fat under the muscle, way inside where those organs are that I showed you. Normally, omentum looks like this. See, it's very thin, very dainty. It's like pantyhose, very elegant, right? <laughs> see, you can see through it almost. I can see it, right? Now, what happens is, Instead of having that nice dainty momentum, you end up with this. Now compare this to this. There's a big difference there. And that's the difference that I'm talking about. When you have this big pad of momentum here slapping up inside of your intestines, there's no way your body can keep up with it. And it causes coronary artery disease, it causes diabetes, it causes hypertension. That's what I'm focused on today because this belly fat poisons your liver causing high cholesterol, it squeezes the kidneys, and the kidneys have to jack up your blood pressure because the kidneys regulate your blood pressure, and it also poisons the ability of insulin to work. And without that, you get diabetes. That's why I'm always telling you to know your five. What are the key five numbers? You gotta know your weight, your waist size, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and your fasting blood sugar. All of those are interrelated to your weight. And the best way to change these numbers, therefore, is to lose that weight. Even a small loss can make a huge difference. That's why we talk about Just 10, these bracelets. The Just 10 bracelets are all about losing just 10 pounds, which we know for a 200-pound woman or less will reduce heart disease, diabetes, and arthritis by a half. Big numbers, big benefits from just 10 pounds. Now, how do you lose weight? Well, a couple action steps that make sense. High fiber breakfast. Get started the right way. It'll keep you going all day long. It'll keep you satiated. You won't be foraging for food at 10 in the morning like a rodent. Number two, you can have your snacks. I want you eating all day long, but keep the snacks smaller than a fist. And always wash down the snacks with water and get that hedonistic desire to have more snacks out of your system. That way you'll be satiated and comfortable for a couple hours. Don't eat food within three hours of bedtime because that way you go to sleep without the extra calories. And you wake up in the morning feeling nourished, you sleep better as well. And you got to move 30 minutes a day. If you do those things, then I want you to track your weight weekly and your waist size monthly. Use it to smack you back if you're going out of order and make sure you're sharing this information with the people you love. Now, at the end of the day, let me tell you something. We all make mistakes. All I want you to be able to do is make a U-turn. You know when you're driving along and you make a mistake on the road? What does the GPS tell you? It says at the next authorized moment, make a U-turn. Not a big deal. Get back on track quickly. Stop beating yourself up about it. And remember that smart dieting is a marathon. If you can automate a program, then remember that success is about forgetting that you're on a program. You're good to go. Making it easy to do the right thing is what I'm talking about, and that's how you'll succeed as well. Now, one favor. Take what you've learned from this video and tell one other person to keep this vital conversation going. Together, we can make America healthier.
For lots more info, check out DrOz.com.